Welcome, this is Deronda with Foods 101, and today I am going to show you how to bake this nine pound ham right here. I am making a brown sugar and honey glazed ham. Now this is a perfect ham to be serving on Mother's Day, which is coming up soon, or during your holidays like Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving, or any day of the year would be great as far as that goes. Now this is my pre-cooked nine pound ham. I've got the, the bone in. It's hickory smoked. Here I've got one cup of honey. This is one stick of unsalted butter. And then I have a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. Now let me show you how we're gonna get this baking. I'm taking my honey and my brown sugar and we're adding this to a saucepan along with the butter and we're going to melt this until the sugar is completely dissolved. Now we're gonna do this the last hour of baking the ham. Now I've got my oven preheating to 300 and 25 degrees and as you can see I've got the shank in and it is one beautiful spectacular ham and I've got a cookie sheet a large cookie sheet that I've lined with tin foil and I'm adding my my ham face down onto the cookie sheet and to the bottom of the pan here I'm gonna add a half a cup of water add your water and now we're adding an extra sheet of tin foil over the top. You want the shiny side of the tin foil in because that's what brings in the heat. And we're going to seal it very nicely around the edges until you have a very nice seal. Now this is going to go in a 325 degree preheated oven. We're going to adjust one of your oven racks to the lower third of the oven and let this cook for the next two hours. No peaking. In a small skillet or a small saucepan we're going to add that stick of butter with the brown sugar and the cup of honey because we want this to we want the sugar to dissolve in the honey and the butter and we want this glaze to come to lukewarm temperature before we add it onto the ham this will take two to three minutes. I've taken the ham out of the oven after two hours of baking. And woo, all the steam is coming out. And this is what we want. Look at that beautiful ham. We can discard the top of the tin foil here. And next, we're going to score the sides of the ham. Now, to score the sides of the ham, I've got a paring knife that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use a sharp knife to sear a one inch wide diamond pattern over the entire ham. So I start from the bottom and I'm going to come up just like this. Make sure you don't go any further than one fourth of an inch into the ham. And I've upped the temperature on my oven to 425 because we're gonna put this back in the oven and we're gonna bake it every 15 minutes once we add the glaze up to one hour. Okay. All right, then next, we're gonna go in this direction. Let's we'll start from the bottom and go over in this direction. So that gives us our one inch wide diamond pattern. And that is going to be absolutely beautiful when it starts baking with that glaze on it. So we've got our glaze here and we're going to generously brush the entire ham starting from the top working your way down with about a third of the glaze and now this is going to go back in a preheated oven for the next 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes I'm going to remove this ham and I'm going to give it another coating of our brown sugar and honey glaze. And let me tell you, it smells absolutely delicious. And you wanna make sure now you line your baking pan with aluminum foil because it's going to be much easier to clean up once we complete the process of this cooked ham. Ooh. 
this glaze oh my goodness it smells so divine mmm the brown sugar and the honey and this fabulous ham smell Woo! it's win-win okay now back in the oven for the next 15 minute uncovered in a preheated oven for 425 degrees so here it goes here's our first 15 minutes of cooking now I'm glazing this ham again with our fabulous honey brown sugar glaze and as you can see it's beginning to turn this beautiful lovely golden brown oh my goodness now back in the oven for another 15 minutes and we're going to pull it out one more time and we're going to add the rest of our glaze here and it is going to be finished cooking Hey, I've got my ham cooled. I've been slicing into it. Gonna give it a little try here. And whoo, look at that crunch on the outside there. Mmm-hmm. This just pulls right apart. Mmm. Wow. Mmm-hmm. We got the sweetness from the honey and the brown sugar and mmm, the butteriness from the butter and You've got this delicious ham. Hey, y'all. Hope you give this a try. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. I'll catch you next time.